Where is the Panchen Lama? What has China done to him? We must ask these questions. Look at the calendar. It's the 25th of April, 2024. It's the Panchen Lama's birthday. He turns 35 today. It's supposed to be a day of celebration, except it's not. Do you know why? Because the Panchen Lama is missing. He's been missing for 29 years. The Chinese kidnapped him 29 years on. No one knows where the Panchen Lama is. He's not been heard from. He's not been seen. This is a story about Chinese assault on Tibet, on its people, their culture, their religion. This is China denying the people of Tibet their very right to select the reincarnation of their religious leader. What is the world doing about it? The Panchen Lama is the second highest authority in Tibetan Buddhism. The highest being the Dalai Lama. He is called the son of Tibet. The Panchen Lama is called the moon. The Tibetans also believe in rebirth and in reincarnation of the Dalai Lama and the Panchen Lama. One of the most important tasks of the Panchen Lama is to find the reincarnated Dalai Lama. The Dalai Lama in turn finds the reincarnated Panchen Lama. This tradition has been followed for centuries. This is Gedun Shoki Nema. He is the missing 11th Panchen Lama. In 1995, Gehun Choki Nema turned six. His name was among the shortlist of candidates sent to the Dalai Lama, who by then was living in exile in India. In May, the Dalai Lama declared that Gehun Choki Nema is the reincarnated Panchen Lama, that he would be the 11th Panchen Lama. Two days later, the Chinese abducted him. The Panchen Lama's family was kidnapped too. So was his teacher. Why did the Chinese pick up a six-year-old? The previous Panchen Lama was a strong critic of China. He would speak against Beijing. China jailed the Panchen Lama when he was all of 26. He spent over eight years in jail. Even after his release from prison, the Panchen Lama remained under house arrest. Then in 1989, the Panchen Lama died under mysterious circumstances. Tibetans believe the 10th Dalai Lama was poisoned by medical staff. Cut to 1995, China is just about recovering from the Tibetan independence uprising. Jiang Zemin is the president of China. Under him, repression in Tibet is on the rise. There are tighter controls on religious activity. Surveillance is up. There are arbitrary arrests, suppression of protests. Beijing is also running a smear campaign on the Dalai Lama. That's when the 11th Panchen Lama is recognized. China sees the young boy as a thorn in its path to control Tibet. So China not just kidnaps the Panchen Lama, but follows it up by announcing that it has found the real reincarnated Panchen Lama. His name is Gadsen Nordu. He is a, sin he is a sinicized Tibet boy who is the son of two Communist Party members. China names him the 11th Panchen Lama six months after kidnapping Gerun Choki Nema. The Chinese Panchen Lama is now 33. He lives in Beijing, rarely visits Tibet. When he does, the visits are heavily policed. What's more, the Chinese Panchen Lama is a member of the CPPCC. That's the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference. This man is a Chinese mouthpiece. He speaks about national unity, which is the term Beijing uses to oppose Tibetan independence. The Tibetans call him the Panchen Zuma, the false Panchen. All this while the real Panchen Lama remains missing. It's been 29 years since anyone saw him. China has repeatedly denied requests by the international community to visit the Panchen Lama. Why? What is China hiding? Back in 1996, the Chinese authorities said, and I'm quoting here, he has been put under the protection of the government at the request of his parents. Just to remind you, the six-year-old boy and his parents had disappeared from their home. Today, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is in China. Will he talk to the Chinese about the Panchen Lama? Why not? This is very much a human rights issue. Exactly the kind the U.S. claims to champion. All eyes are on Blinken. Will he ask the Chinese what they've done to the Panchen Lama? In India, prayers were held today to mark the birthday of the young monk. The 14th Dalai Lama, Tenzin Gyatso, is aging. He will be 89 in July. He said that there is a chance that he will not be reborn. Even if he is, 
it will not be in a country under the Chinese rule. The Dalai Lama has also mentioned the possibility of being born as a woman or choosing his successor before his death. Ideally, the Panchen Lama would be needed to find the reincarnation of the Dalai Lama. But China has interfered with this process. What's more, in 2011, the Chinese Foreign Ministry declared only China can appoint the next Dalai Lama. In February 2022, an article in Chinese mouthpiece, the Global Times, reasserted, I'm quoting here, recognition of the new Dalai Lama must be conducted in China. In short, also abducting the Dalai Lama and replacing him with a fake. China now also wants to pick the next Dalai Lama. How far will China go in its quest to sinicize Tibet? Where is the red line or is there none? For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.